Nate Hamilton, and these are your morning announcements. Go Wildcats! And please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here is this week's academic news. Sigu, Leila Vargas Nunguts. Hola, me llamo Leila Vargas. Hello everyone, my name is Leila Vargas. I am currently a junior at Alexander Hamilton High School, also a member of the First Nations College Access Program. I encourage other students to join because we get support from staff and teachers, tutoring, not only that, but you earn credit towards graduation. Come help us keep our native history alive. If your child is Native American, register them in the First Nations College Access Program today. There are over 100 historically Black colleges and universities in the country. This week is HBCU week at MPS and we will be featuring one HBCU school each day. Today, we are featuring Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. Morehouse is a private historically Black men's liberal arts college. It offers 32 different majors and over 50 student organizations, study abroad opportunities, and ROTC. Some notable alumni that have graduated from Morehouse include Samuel O. Jackson and Martin Luther King Jr. Sigu, Hamilton First Nation students. By the way, Sigu is hello in the Oneida language at 10 a.m. Tuesday, October 12th, and every Tuesday after, all First Nation students are welcome to meet in the College and Career Center, room 218 North, to learn about the First Nation Studies program. A few reasons I really enjoy the program is you get college tours, credit towards graduation, tutoring, and help from staff, but the most important reason to me is keeping our Native culture alive. So Hamilton, Wainisleo, which means good day in Oneida language. Hello everyone, welcome to the Culture Crash course about Gandhi, brought to you from the Multicultural Committee, narrated by Ms. Essenberg and Ms. Stacy. Mahatma Gandhi was born on October 2nd, 1869, and he died on January 30th, 1948. Who was he? He was an Indian lawyer, an anti-colonial nationalist, and he employed nonviolent resistance to lead the successful push for India's independence from British rule. All right, let's talk about how he spent his life. His family stayed in India while Gandhi went to London in 1888 to study law. He then went to South Africa in 1893 to practice it. Later on, he brought his family to South Africa in 1897, and then the family moved back to India in 1915. First, let's talk about why he is important and why we're learning about him today. It's because it's his birthday, October 2nd. Why was he important? He inspired movements for civil rights and freedom across the world. So now that we know who he is, how he spent his life, and why he's important, let's talk about some fun facts. First, his birthday is a national holiday in India. It's also the International Day of Nonviolence. He was the 1930 Time Magazine Man of the Year. Very cool. He was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize five times. And now we're going to leave you with a quote from this wonderful man. 
and inspiration. The quote is, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. Mahatma Gandhi. Have a great day, Hamilton. October, you'll be getting paw prints if you're wearing your masks correctly. That means they need to cover your nose and your mouth so that they can keep you and our other students safe. Be safe. Have a great day. Hey, Ham Fam. It's Miss Barry. Just wanted to let you know we're looking for Wildcats of the Month. Have you done something special? Have you accomplished a goal? Have you participated in an activity, helped someone, given of yourself, or just simply really been an amazing person inside or outside of the school? Well, let a teacher know, because maybe we'll be seeing you as the Wildcat of the Month. Hey, look in stairwell number one on the second floor on the big calendar, and maybe we'll see you there. Have a great day. See you later. Bye. Here is this week's athletic news. These are your athletic events for Tuesday, October 12th. At 7 p.m., you got a soccer boys JV game versus Milwaukee King at Milwaukee South Stadium. On Wednesday at 6.30 p.m., you have a girls varsity volleyball game versus Milwaukee Juno at, at, at that school. For Thursday, at 5 p.m., you have a girls' JV swimming thing versus multiple schools at Hamilton. Then at 6 p.m., you have a varsity football game versus Milwaukee Riverside at Milwaukee South Stadium. And for Saturday at 9 a.m., you have a girls' varsity volleyball conference tournament versus multiple schools at South Division High School. Morning soccer fans, Coach Bagger here. Been a bit since I talked to you last. Uh, we finished up our, or we're gonna finish up our season on Wednesday at five o'clock against Milwaukee School of Languages at Vincent. A Little bit of a trip, but if you could make it out, we'd love to have you cheering for us. Uh, if we win that game, we will be seven and five overall for the season. I went to our seeding meeting this weekend and we secured a 12th seed. We will be playing next Tuesday, which will be October 19th at 7 p.m. at Muskego. If we win that game, we would move on and play against the winner of Ronald Reagan and Oak Creek, and that game would be Saturday, October 23rd. Uh, players, we need to have you on the practice field to prepare for those games. Have an awesome day, and we do also have a JV game tomorrow night. I will uh, make sure Coach shares the time and location for that. Thank you very much, and go Wildcats! Anybody that wants to be energy. Cheer Squad also includes the mascot. If you would like to be the mascot for our game, 
come to my room 250 and sign up so we can get you registered online. Good morning. Here's this week's club information. all artists are you a writer a person who enjoys painting musician and any other person with a creative style if so i have the perfect place for you join hamilton's new online arts magazine this is done 100 percent virtual and brand new to hamilton it's time for hamilton to shine want to change the world? Do you want to build power for students? Do you want to stand up for what you believe in? If so, join YES, Youth Empowered in the Struggle. YES is an organization dedicated to building student power. We organize for immigrant rights, join in the Black Lives Matter movement, stand up for workers' rights, and fight to make an education system that serves all students. YES organizes to increase student voice in MPS, but also takes on challenges we face as the Milwaukee community and joins in national movements for social change. In YES, you will learn to organize. This, that means bringing people together for positive change. YES is a student organization, meaning students democratically decide what issues we take on. The first YES general interest meeting is Tuesday, October 12th in Mr. Fleissner's room. 306 after school at 3 30. we will review the purpose of yes and take our first steps in organizing everyone is welcome bus cards will be available to get home if needed and pizza will be served Do you identify as LGBTQ plus or as a supporter? Well, join us for the new Acceptance Alliance Club starting Wednesday, September 22nd from 3.30 to 4.30 in room 337. Everybody is welcome. Hope, Hope to, to see, see you there. there. Remember to upload your senior photos, your baby pictures, along with your senior coats by November 2nd, um, which is on Tuesday. And for those who are interested in getting in the group photos, it will be taken October 19th, which is um, Tuesday during second block. So please don't be absent. Bye! Birthday for October 12th, and we are yet again in Libra seasons. So these are your Libra's babies. Um, Thomas M, Lorenzo C, and Char, Char Eku Mu. I'm so sorry. Happy birthday.
For October 12th, we are having barbecue turkey sandwich, roasted potatoes, ketchup mayonnaise or a coleslaw, strawberries, and your choice of milk. Hello, Hamilton. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. Have a nice day.